An, an emotional rally was held on the steps of City Hall today. Family members of Wynn Rosario speaking out. They want the officers who fatally shot the 19-year-old to be fired. The police say the officers had no choice. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram reports on today's reaction. I am still grieving, but I am here because I want justice for my son. Days after body camera footage was released showing the shooting death of 19-year-old Wynn Rosario by New York City officers inside of his Queens home, his grieving family called for action on the steps of City Hall. Wynn was just a child. He was a teenager with his whole life ahead of him. His mother was in tears while surrounded by community leaders and city council members Wednesday. She spoke through a translator. I begged the police not to shoot, but the police still killed him. He told us he wanted to join the military because he wanted to do something for this country. His younger brother says Rosario was his role model who cooked for the family and loved to play basketball. These past 22 days has been hell for us. In the morning he would usually wake up before me and when I woke up he used to give me a big hug. Body camera footage shows Rosario and his mother in their kitchen on March 27th. He takes out scissors and charges towards officers Matthew, Cianfranco and Salvatore Alonghi before they tase him. His mother takes it away and puts it down as she pleads with them not to shoot. Rosario's tased again, but he continues to move towards officers with the scissors. One shot was fired and eventually four more. His family says officers could have safely detained him. We see disproportionately that black and brown families are working class families are impacted by these incidents. The NYPD maintains it was a chaotic situation and they were forced to fire. When our family, friends and neighbors are experiencing a mental health crisis. They deserve a response from mental health pro professionals not being killed by the NYPD. It's time for a change. And the NYPD says that both officers remain on modified assignment. That means they are not allowed to carry their badge or their gun. The family says that's not enough. They want more. They want to see both officers suspended without pay. From City Hall, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. Now, we did reach out to the city about their Be Heard program, where social workers respond to mental health calls. And we're still waiting to learn more as to why they did not respond to this particular call for help.